Hello everyone, today I am reviewing the Evercross um, H5 electric scooter. I'm going to show you what's in the box when you get it. Um, let's take a look. Okay, so we have some hardware right here. We got some tools for assembly per uh, assembling purposes. Um, inside this box, we have some the battery charging brick. Okay, and then we have the scooter itself. All right, so I'm gonna take the scooter out. Have the uh, scooter fully assembled. Let's do a walk around, see what it looks like. Features a 10 inch wheel, brakes, signal, horn, also a key, adjustable seats, adjustable handlebar, three different speed and a throttle and I got some uh, brake lights front lights backup lights okay let's show you pressing the brakes signal on the sides that's the right that's the left horn front light And so on okay we're gonna do a test run we're gonna do some mileage and see how long it lasts it's supposed to be 25 miles range about 28 miles per hour um, what else you got the uh, comes with the key fob for on and off okay so yeah we're gonna take this for a spin and see if we can clock the speed that they promise and the mileage stay tuned so this is how the scooter looks at night with the lights on that's the front light and you have these side leds on each side okay and then you have the back you also again you have the signal lights Okay, so yeah, that's how it looks like. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, go. Okay, so the first thing I want to start off and say about this scooter is that the scooter is, the framework is, is, is well built, you know what I'm saying, it's very built, it's sturdy and everything like that. Um, second thing I want to note is that the seat um, when it go, it, 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 it's, it's very comfortable and that when you go over certain bumps, it does make like a little squeaking sound, but nothing that can't fix with a, with a little bit of oil. Um, yeah. And also that the, uh, the, the mileage that I have got from this scooter so far I have got up to 25 on the uh, speedometer on the um, the controller, but uh, using the GPS uh, from my phone, uh, it got up to 23 
uh, miles per hour. So I want to state that. So I never actually got up to the 28. I've got up to 27 down a steep slope. Um, not very steep, but you know, steep slope. Um, also the brakes, the brakes is pretty good. Um, one of the brakes though, I had to adjust because it was a little kind of um, hard to sque uh, squeeze. So I will say when you do get this scooter, you might have to adjust the brakes um, for, for it to um, have a little bit more uh, pressure sensitive. And um, it rides pretty smooth, but when you go over like certain rocky area, you do get li these little bump noise um, from the scooter itself. But I mean, the, 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 the quality and the ride on a smooth flat is pretty good. Um, what else? The, my, the, the distance that I've got on a full charge was 18 miles per hour. I didn't get the full 25, but I've gotten up to 18 miles, but I didn't fully ride it till it fully died. So there's a possibility I could have got a couple more mileage out of it. Um, so I want to state that also. So yeah, the scooter is pretty good. Um, I do like it. I wish it did get up to the mileage that uh, miles per hour that they state. Um, other than that, it's a solid build.